one of those effects that when you discover it and you start to get a feel for how it works that you'll come back to time and time again is the lighting effect because not only can it redo lighting it does actually have an exposure control in it and if you were to go to your effects tab and type exposure EXPO you'll see that there's no exposure effect in here whereas if you type lighting L-I-G-H-T-I-N-G you'll see that there is under the adjust tab a lighting effect and if you take the lighting effect and apply it to the clip here it comes up with this initial look which we can play with but under this particular instance we can use it to add volumetric lighting also we can add multiple lights because you'll see that in the lighting effect we've got lights 1 to 5 plus we've also got what's called ambient intensity and ambient color so there is an ambient light now this is where the exposure control comes in if I were to turn off light 1 which is the only one that's showing at the moment it says spotlight and I take it to none you'll see that I've got my ambient light color so I can choose what light color I feel the original shot should have so let's choose that one it's far too red so I can actually go into the color swatch itself and reduce the saturation so that uh, it comes up to a much brighter version click OK that might even need to be lighter than that so let's take saturation even higher on that one yeah, pretty much about there that looks good about 12 percent now it's not bright enough but we can do one of two things firstly we can increase the ambient intensity of the ambient light also we've got an exposure control so I can change the exposure of the whole thing and because it is an ambient light which is affecting everything in the shot I can play the exposure of the whole thing okay so I'm just going to reset this particular effect so it comes back in its standard effects we'll come back to some of these other properties a bit later on just going to click reset and I'm going to go to light one and what we want to do is use this look to create a volumetric lighting now what do I mean by volumetric lighting well you see these lights are sort of going off into the mist that going off into the mist is the volumetric it looks like the lighting is actually shining into the mist and what we can do is we can use this light this first spotlight and as many other spotlights as we like to apply them to each individual one of these lights to give the look of volumetric lighting now obviously we need to go straight back to make sure that our ambient is set right so let's just very quickly play with the ambient lighting so we want something like that again if we go back to our color swatch I'm just going to drag it to quite nice and bright on this particular instance okay so that's about right and the ambience can go up a little bit in fact I'm going to want the uh, intensity up quite a bit for the way that we're going to do it because this particular spotlight is going to be very little we're not going to have a lot of effect on it now notice that lighting effect has also got the little box if you click on lighting effect you'll see that you can actually get hold of the light itself you can start to make changes um, you can angle it as well so you can either click and drag or you can open up the, the, the twirly next to the word angle and decide how you want to angle it so I'm going to want to angle this one down I think probably something like that okay and I'm going to want to have it applied to this particular item over here so we're going to want the whole light to in fact I've got that completely upside down so let's just change the angle so it's around completely the other way there you go that's about right and I'm going to just grab it click on the middle and pull it down and you can see that we're beginning to get the look that we're after so you can decide whether you want to have a nice wide beam coming out of it or a narrow beam coming out of it you can change the intensity by using the major radius where's the light coming from if you like when you pull the major, major radius down you can see it's either going to come from the middle of the effect or from wherever it happened to be however when you do that it resets or it can reset the minor radius which is the basically how wide the light's going to be and then you can also go down to the intensity and you can increase or decrease the intensity of that light to give more or less of a volumetric look you can even focus the light so how much or how little of it is going to fill that gap volumetric lighting on the whole is not too full so that looks pretty good for the first light so we can look at that one click away that's beginning to give us what we like but the rest of the backgrounds not quite bright enough so again we can go down to the ambient light and we can turn the intensity of that up a little bit more 
and I think that this first light actually needs to be changed not quite in the right place so I'm just going to again click on there and pull the whole thing down just by clicking in the middle this is light one so it's just coming out from the bottom of that effect and possibly turn its intensity down a tad just a little bit too bright for what I'm trying to achieve I think let's just take it down so it's just noticeable but not overwhelming there you go click away to have a little look at what it looks like so we've added an effect I'm going to click back on the layer we can go in and we can change the intensity of the ambient light we can do whatever we want to to get the overall effect so if we do a before and after by turning off the lighting effects before and after and we've added in a beautiful volumetric lighting effect and notice that we've got a whole bunch of other lights there are different types of light by the way at the moment we've gone for a spotlight there are directional lights which are quite hard to control if I'm honest with you and also omni lights and omni light just affects everything but you can decide how big that area is going to be with an omni light we'll deal with that in another example so that's the first example we can create volumetric lighting to these lights and give us completely relit look again we'll do before and after a great look so let's try another example now in this particular one this shot has got a few problems because it was so bright the darks looking really dark and you can't really read what's going on over here and the brights are kind of overwhelming us what we can do is use the lighting effect to relight this scene entirely so I'm going to take the lighting effect and drop it on and what we might want to do is again click on lighting and have a little play with this first light so I'm going to open up light one open up its angle and perhaps change it so here we are we've got the light coming in about the right place we can perhaps pull it out a bit this is roughly where we want the light to be affected and it's just relighting this scene slightly just to get a better feel for what's going on we can actually see what's going on over this side okay if we do a before and after before and after okay what we might want to do at this stage is perhaps turn the intensity of the ambient light up a tad so it can bring a bit more of that brightness from the first side in okay so we've got a good look here that's beginning to get to where we want to go we might perhaps want to move the light up a bit play around with its placement just just to get a better more focused look but this particular area here isn't looking too good because of the property of the light for this particular one and if we look down here under the ambient lights you see that we've got things called surface materials and if I start to turn surface material down you'll see that I get a bigger glare as if this spotlight is glaring off the actual footage itself whereas if I pull it the other way and take it up to say 100 the light is still there but it's hardly noticeable it's become part of the scene and you can actually play with the, um, the surface gloss as well so you can make the surface less or more glossy so if we turn it up you can see getting more of a glossy look and if I turn it down we're getting rid of more of that gloss so what we're doing is we're using the light not to give a reflective type of look but a far more naturalistic light that doesn't draw attention to itself but just relights the area now there is this little bit at the bottom about bump and that can make things stand out a little bit more so say we want the features of this wall perhaps to shine out a little bit more we can turn on the bump layer and choose itself which is the video and video one now you can see instantly that's given us rather a harsh response bump height is at 50 first thing to do is check out which channel is going to give you the best results red green or blue none of those are really going to do a brilliant job for us so what we might want to do is first you turn down the surface material a tad and then take the bump height down until we get something that's there but not overwhelming so you know that's 14 perhaps a little bit too much perhaps still maybe just four click in there and just put four okay just to give a little bit of a bump if you require it to be honest with you I hardly ever use bump but you can actually do that if you want so let's just have a little look before and after by turning on and off the lighting effect before after before after okay so you've got a different type of look simply by using the lighting effect and we could add another light in say down here if we wanted to uh, let's look at the third example however this particular one here could do with a general light in the middle not sure I really want a spotlight but let's just add the lighting effect so adjust lighting effect and drop it on and we've got a spotlight let's actually first of all change the light type from spotlight to Omni and let's select the little sign and there's the Omni light okay so if you hover over the, the target point in the middle you can move the Omni light around and you can just change its radius how big or how little an area it is affecting 
obviously it's going to go beyond its its uh, edges you can see that just by moving it but if I put it there first it's turn it on and off so that's the original and that's the new version just with its standard settings suddenly the street has got a lot more interest going to it and you can obviously get in you can change the color of the light if you want to you can add a little bit of the hue of the wall if you feel that that's going to add a little bit more interest to the light so perhaps we want to choose perhaps a little bit of, of this color in our light and then again click in there and take saturation right down perhaps turn the brightness down as well so we get a little bit brighter there you go so we can actually play around and actually add some of the color back in by changing the, the color of the light itself and of course you can animate these things so you can animate the lights radius how much it's going to affect the whole thing to give you more of a reveal or you can animate the intensity you can relight a scene entirely just by playing around with these different bits and pieces and of course we can still change our ambient intensity so I can still turn my ambient intensity up and I can turn the lighting effect off before and after before and after and I'll tell you what this is really powerful for if you've got a picture of somebody with the Sun behind them and you've made a real effort to get a picture of them but all it's doing is looking at everything else around them and they're black in the middle well the pixels are still there all you need to do is get in there with a spotlight or with a, a an omni light and set it up so it's the right size for whatever you're looking at and you can relight the middle and still have a nice looking shot so even if you've made a mistake with your exposure and what have you, you've got exposure controls and you can get in with this incredibly powerful lighting effect to relight scenes entirely with multiple lights just to create far more exciting looks because you've played around with this, this, this very powerful effect, saving shots just by moving through it with the lighting effect. So I'd encourage you to get playing with the lighting effect once you've found you've got the lighting effect and you're using it and you know it's part of your, your effects arsenal, you will use it quite a lot.